A silent killer from the sky sinks a Russian ship, causing an uproar in international politics. Picture this, a lone drone, no bigger than a small car, piercing the tranquil waters of the Black Sea. In an instant, a Russian vessel plummets beneath the waves, seven lives tragically extinguished. This isn't the plot of a Hollywood blockbuster, but a grim reality. In the ongoing conflict between Ukraine and Russia, this single drone attack has become a symbol of a new era of warfare. The drone, a tool of the technologically savvy and cost-conscious, has provided Ukraine with a potent weapon to counter the larger Russian forces. It's a classic tale of David and Goliath, with a 21st century twist. This devastating blow wasn't just a military victory, it was a strategic coup. As the dust settled, Ukraine stood tall, its defense capabilities under the global spotlight. The message was clear, Ukraine was not to be underestimated. In this high-stakes game of geopolitics the drone has become the wild card, reshaping the battlefield and rewriting the rules of engagement. A single drone attack has changed the game, putting the spotlight on Ukraine's defense capabilities. But the waters are muddier than they seem. Beneath the official headlines a whirlwind of theories and conjectures swirls. Some suggest the drone attack could be a classic false flag operation, a controversial tactic often employed as an instrument for swaying public sentiment or justifying further military action. Such maneuvers are far from unheard of and have been woven into the fabric of history as tools to manipulate perceptions and drive political agendas. Others, however, venture further into the realm of speculation, pointing to the potential involvement of third parties. With the region tangled in a complex web of geopolitical interests, the ground is ripe for covert operations and clandestine alliances. These theories raise the curtain on a stage where the actors are many and the motivations are masked, making it a daunting task to unearth the true orchestrators of such incidents. The question also lingers about the exact nature of the drone technology used in the attack. Drones have evolved rapidly over the years yet their capabilities still span a wide spectrum. This raises doubts about Ukraine's ability to execute such a precise and deadly strike without a helping hand from outside. With so many theories in play the truth seems to be a casualty of war. The drone, a simple unmanned vehicle, is now a major player on the battleground. These flying marvels have evolved from mere surveillance tools to sophisticated machines capable of altering the course of conflicts. But with such a drastic shift in usage, questions arise. Could Ukraine, a country with limited resources, have independently developed and deployed such powerful drone technology? The drone that struck the Russian ship wasn't just any drone. It was reportedly capable of executing a precise and devastating strike, a feat that requires advanced technology and strategic expertise. This isn't your everyday drone that you might see hovering above a backyard barbecue. This is a machine of war, armed and dangerous, designed with a singular purpose, destruction. Speculations have been swirling about the true nature of this drone. Some suggest it could be an experimental model designed to operate in adverse conditions and evade detection. Others theorize that it might have been equipped with advanced targeting systems or stealth capabilities. These hypotheses, while plausible, raise another question. Could Ukraine have achieved such technological prowess on its own? The advancements in drone technology have been rapid and impressive, but they often require significant resources and technical know-how. Given Ukraine's circumstances, it's reasonable to question whether they could have pulled off such a feat without external help. Could there be a hidden hand, a third-party actor, providing Ukraine with the necessary support and resources? The drone, once a tool for surveillance, has become a weapon of destruction. Its role in the ongoing conflict between Ukraine and Russia is a chilling reminder of how technology can be harnessed for warfare and how its repercussions can ripple across borders and shake the foundations of international relations. This incident is not just a ripple but a wave altering the course of the Ukraine-Russia conflict. The ripple effect of this drone attack is already being felt, not just in the icy waters of the Black Sea, but across the globe. The sinking of a Russian ship by a Ukrainian drone is a stark reminder of the escalating stakes in this ongoing conflict. At its heart, this incident signals a dangerous shift in warfare one that could destabilize regional security and disrupt international relations. The use of drones by smaller nations like Ukraine is a game-changer, highlighting a shift from traditional warfare towards more asymmetric tactics. These unmanned vessels are not just cost-effective but they also allow nations with limited military resources to punch above their weight. As a result, 
larger powers like Russia are forced to reconsider their strategic approach, potentially escalating the conflict further. Furthermore, the international community is now faced with a conundrum. On one hand, there's the issue of sovereignty and Ukraine's right to defend its territory. On the other, there's the looming threat of escalating tensions and the potential for a full-blown war. It's a delicate balancing act, one that requires a nuanced and careful response. The incident also raises questions about the proliferation of drone technology. As these tools become more accessible and sophisticated, the potential for misuse grows. Regulating and monitoring the use of this technology becomes a pressing issue for the international community, one that demands immediate attention. This drone attack also serves as a stark reminder of the complex web of geopolitical interests in the region. It's not just about Ukraine and Russia anymore. Other nations, drawn in by their own strategic interests or alliances may find themselves embroiled in the conflict, further complicating the situation. In conclusion, this incident represents a pivotal moment in the Ukraine-Russia conflict. It's a wake-up call for the international community, a call to action that cannot be ignored. The ramifications of this attack are far-reaching, extending beyond the immediate conflict to impact regional stability and international relations. As the dust settles from this attack, the world watches, bracing for what comes next.